Yes, this is Performance TV presented by Top Coat, and no, I am not Joe, and I'm certainly not Kathy. I'm Dave Dobson, and I'll be here with you for the next half hour as we visit our friends at Mobile Environmental Solutions. Welcome to Performance TV. We are deep in the heart of Texas at the headquarters of Mobile Environmental Solutions just outside of Dallas where these folks are making portable paint booths like this. And now Tom Williams is here and he is the president of Mobile Environmental Solutions. Thank you for having us down. We've seen you in the studio and it's, uh, it's good to be to here. Texas, Dave. Thank you very much. That's all he needs a hat, right? That's all you need. It's a big, big 10 gallon cowboy hat. Cool. I love it. This, this place is, is pretty amazing. We've had a little look around. Tell us what you do here at Mobile Environmental Solutions. Mobile Environmental Solutions was designed to help people increase productivity and efficiency. Whether it be the do-it-yourself painter, whether it be the, the person that's doing minor body repairs, whether it be the U.S. military that needs to do work outside in the Middle East. I mean, it, the, the uses are, are unlimited. If you need a clean room and you need to set up in conditions that may not be correct, all you need is a couple of 110 power outlets, and we've got you covered. So you're not just for somebody who needs a paint booth. This is not just for painters, right? No, I mean, it, it goes as far as, as car washes, details, ceramic coatings, it needs a clean environment, window tint. I mean, the, the uses are truly unlimited. And you have a lot of different sizes, a lot of different models people can use, right? Absolutely. We build them as small as a 12 by 12. Those are the hobbyists, the guys doing airbrush, guys doing, you know, home remodels, doing cabinetry work. But you don't want to turn around and do a makeshift paint booth in somebody's house. You set this up outside the driveway and, and do everything right there. That way you don't have to worry about damaging anything, you know, in transport. To build them big enough to put a Apache helicopter in, to do a semi, you name it. And this is not just for somebody who's a hobbyist. You, you can, sure, you can be the guy at home that wants one of these to, for some extra space, but these are also used professionally, right? Absolutely. I mean, predominantly a lot of our customers are using them on a daily basis, using them outdoors, using them indoors. They're made of, of a commercial grade quality. Commercial grade quality, but what does that really mean for durability? It means that the, that the vinyl's been treated to a, a product that has a fire resistance to it. It means that the, the panels are all replaceable. It means that it can take the beating of an inflatable that's going to be used every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and it's got longevity, not something that's a one-time use or use a couple times and you throw away. But when I'm setting this up, that takes a long time, right? And then I've got to worry about setup time and tear down. You'd be surprised. You turn around, you unroll it just like you would a mattress, turn around and plug it in, and it's usually up in less than two or three minutes. That's pretty amazing. So it keeps productivity up, right? Absolutely. What are some of the things about your paint booths that set you apart from the other ones that are out there? The biggest thing is our patent design that's a true cross-flow positive pressure. It allows the air to continue, not just at the back of the booth, but it's bringing in filtered air through two-thirds of the booth to the end. And that's what really sets it apart from any other inflatable paint booth on the market. So anybody can set up uh, some curtains around here or make a balloon or a bubble, but you guys, you, safety was really the name of the game for you, Absolutely, right? and that's what it was set up, was to create a safe environment that wouldn't necessarily be available to everybody. Not everybody has the, the space to set up a permanent paint booth that they're not going to use every day. We know how real estate's expensive. You can imagine tying up four or 500 square feet in your shop. If you're not painting every day that shop's open, you're not making money off that real estate. Now, who are some of the customers that you see using your paint booths? A lot of guys doing used car reconditioning, body shops will use it for overflow. They don't want to turn around and spray a bump or fender and tie up their big permanent paint booth that they're going to be doing complete jobs. That they need, you know, they need that big permanent paint booth to be handling their bigger, higher revenue jobs. And they'll use these for their for their parks and their overflow and stuff like that. Clearly, it's a really cool product, and I can't wait to see how it's all built and everything. One thing that stands out to me, though, is it's made in the USA. Why is that so important? Because we can control the quality. We control the entire build process from start to finish. And it just allows us to just put a just much better product out on the streets. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing how it's designed and how it's all made and how it gets out to the consumer. And we'll have more of that when we come back to Performance TV, presented by Topco. Performance TV, presented by Topcoat, is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Cam Auto Pro, painless dent repair tools. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. And by Topcoat, the best coatings in the world. 
Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Code. We are in Texas, just outside of Dallas at Mobile Environmental Solutions. And I've got to tell you, it's a really small operation, but it's an impressive one. Paul Oliver is the engineer of production here. And Paul, what's the first step when it comes to making one of these? The computer-aided design. Um, the computer allows me to, to create the size patterns and length, width, and height. Also, the, the tubular size so that we can get the max effort of the air pressure that we need for the inflatable. You do all the design work on the computer, and once you're finished there, what happens next? The information is transferred over to the um, cutting machine, and then it'll draw the lines where it wants the sewers to, to sew, and then it'll come back and it'll cut. It'll also label the uh, patterns so that the sewers know what patterns go together and for future down the road if, if there needs to be a panel uh, changed out then we'll know which panel that is by, by code. And you're using different materials because you have different models. Is it the same cutter for everything you do here? It is. Yeah, it cuts different thicknesses. So now it comes out here to Crystal, who's one of your seamstresses. What is she doing? Uh, she's still making the foundation of the uh, inflatable. So what she's actually doing right here, this is the floor. It's removable, so uh, she's got to sew all the Velcro on it. And then she'll move on to building the structure of the U-shaped uh, inflatable. She's working on the floor, like you said. How is that different from the rest of the unit? Uh, this is a little bit thicker material. This is so when the vehicle drives in and out of the uh, paint booth, and, and depending on the surface that it's being uh, inflated on, it's a thicker material so it's stronger and, and can withstand the weight of the vehicle. I've talked to a lot of folks, this can actually withstand a ton. Yes. Uh, how often do you get something back where somebody's had a failure, or a puncture, or a tear? Very seldom. Uh, a puncture tear is just somebody that, you know, drives a forklift through it or something like that. It's hardly ever anything that has to do with, uh, with production. So next it moves on to the next table under the capable hands of a Don. What is he doing? So Don is uh, building the superstructure uh, part of the unit. Uh, this is the, um, the rafters and the columns. And then after he's complete with that part, then it'll get assembled to the, uh, to the foundation of the unit. Now this is a different material than the floor was in the foundation, right? That is correct. It's a little bit lighter weight, but still has the strength and durability. We want it somewhat sealed tight so that it has max pressure inside the booth. And the pressure is really important, so what he's doing, this is pretty critical, right? It is very critical. Yeah, he's got to make sure that uh, the seams match up. If, if the seams are off just a little bit, then it throws everything off. How important is it to get the design right? Because you, you told me he's working inside out, right? Correct. Yeah, he's working inside out. He's got allowances, but when we were back on the cutting machine, it showed him where he needed to, to sew at, so he's, he can see through this material. Final step of the production process, building the uh, filters, the windows, and the doors. And this is a lot of the extra stuff that gets bolted on, and it's also some of the stuff that sets mobile environmental solutions apart from their competitors, right? That is correct. All, all this uh, material here is all interchangeable, so the windows, the doors, are all removable. The filters are removable. How important is it that everything's made here in the USA, made right here in this shop, how important is it for quality control? It's very important. That's, that's the main part is, is we can control our quality. Uh, if we need to make changes, we can do it on the fly where, you know, as else we'd you'd have to wait. Now, I've seen a lot of stuff online, stuff that looks like mobile environmental solutions, but... Yeah, but you got to be careful what you see online because what you see online is not always what you're going to get. The quality is just not there. And once production is finished, now it's time for assembly. What are these guys doing here? So in the assembly phase, they're installing the floor, uh, like we talked about earlier, it's removable. They're gonna install the uh, doors, the windows, all the filtration system. And just like every other step in the process, these guys are checking every inch of this for quality control, right? Yes, they have to do quality control at this point as well, every step of the way to make sure that uh, everything's matching up. Well, it's quite a process and you got quite a crew. And we have more coming up from Performance TV, presented by Topcoat. Time now for the Lowdown with Magic Creeper. We're pretty fortunate that we get to work in a shop like this. We have multiple lifts, plenty of places for lots of vehicles. But you know what? A lot of auto repair shops, transmission shops, collision shops. You know what? A good problem to have is when all of your bays are full, when all of your lifts have something on them. But what if you still need to look at another potential customer's car? Joe. 
How are we going to do that? Absolutely. The idea that we can just throw down the magic creeper, get under a vehicle rapidly when every other lift is in use, keep ourselves clean off the dirty shop floor, do whatever the check that is necessary, and then keep on with the business. That's, that's right. What, that's what's up. Yes, because with the Magic Creeper, you have zero ground clearance. Let's say you had to do this outside. Well, Joe, you're still going to be able to do that, too. You're going to be able to keep your employees clean when they're getting down underneath the vehicles. Because the nice thing is when you sit on the Magic Creeper, wherever you first sit, that's where you're going to stay. It moves underneath you. And Joe, see, nice and easy where you can do that. And you can have these throughout the shop. You could have these if you had to go out and maybe check a customer's vehicle before it got towed in. Have it in your company vehicle. They're lightweight, three pounds. Something else, they are oil and water resistant. So once again, staying clean so you can keep it clean. And if you are out in gravel or tools or whatever, they're puncture resistant. I like the fact that it makes a great gift and it fits anywhere. Shop house such little clearance and I still was able to get under this GMC. Yeah, because you know what, my, my husband and I have a shop and a lot of times the, the bays get full. You've got customers that you want to check out their vehicles and the bays are full sometimes because you're waiting on parts like the delivery guys to get there so you can get those jobs done. But you want to keep everything going. This is such a great thing to have and like you mentioned, a great gift. A great gift. Go to magiccreeper.com. Performance TV presented by Topcoat at Mobile Environmental Solutions in Dallas, Texas. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Topcoat. We are visiting our friends at Mobile Environmental Solutions here in the steamy Texas sun. And we are outside, Tom, because you've got one of your specialty units here. Tell me about this one. Absolutely. This is our, our unit designed uh, solely for spray and bed liners. And the nice thing about this is you can set up and, and take it down in just a few minutes. You turn around if you're a body shop and you want to add spray and bed liners to your portfolio, or we take them to dealerships. That way the dealership doesn't have the liability of the truck leaving the lot. You can spray high pressure, low pressure cartridges, and it only takes up a matter of a few square feet. Now, of course, uh, you don't have any issues with overspray because this thing's kind of tucked away in there, right? Correct. It, it turns around and it encapsulates the entire bed of the truck and actually has curtains inside there that are designed to not allow overspray to continue to stick to it, makes it for easier cleanup and so on. Now, TJ actually uses this day in, day out. How has this from a mobile environmental solutions changed what you do? Well, it's taking the shuttling of trucks back and forth out of the equation. We do everything on site. Uh, take the liability off the table of moving vehicles off the lot or, and uh, the customers love it. How many vehicles can you do a day or a week using this? Uh, typically we do about 15 trucks a day. Uh, in a given month we'd average about 150 trucks out of this unit Monday through Friday. How long have you been using it and how durable is this thing? Well, like I said, it goes up uh, five days a week, sometimes as many as three times a day as we go from lot to lot. The booth we've used particularly has been in use for four years. Uh, but it's still going strong and uh, we're still producing strong numbers out of it. So. And that's one thing we had talked about earlier. You, you mentioned how hot this process is. So explain the process of putting in a bed liner and how, how much heat that generates. Uh, yeah, well, the product we use is it's high temperature, high pressure, and it's by its own nature is pretty aggressive in texture. And uh, the booth holds up well to it. I mean, the, the pre cut curtains that are, uh, you know, kind of a consumable product, if you will, on the inside. We go through the front curtain probably bi-monthly and the other curtains maybe every other month. And uh, just the fact that they're already pre-cut makes maintenance no, not an issue. I mean, we could do it in the field in a matter of minutes as far as upkeep, um, but the slick surface allows for easy cleanup at the end of the day. So we package it back up just about the way it started. How easy is it to get your consumables like that from Mobile Environmental Solutions? Oh, there it's, I mean, it's instant. You know I mean? You, you need something, you get it within a day or two. Um, and you know ahead of time what you're, what you're going to be using is your consumables. Tom, how satisfying is it for you to see customers like this that really rely on the things you do? It's, I mean, it's, it's perfect. I love it. I love happy customers. I love when they call and say, hey, you know, my booth paid for itself in a couple of weeks. My booth paid for itself in a month. You know, that's what it's all about. Well, that's a great story. We look forward to hearing more here on Performance TV. Time now for Top Coat's tips and techniques. Top Coat does an amazing job, obviously, on all different kinds of services, but this is really a, a, a great situation that we wanted to share with everyone because this truck's been coated about a month ago. So we've got actual bird droppings, all different kinds of marks that's all over this. You know, obviously this truck has been run in this, this Tennessee weather, you know, all the, the different environmental factors and, and conditions you can imagine. But 
again, coated a month ago. So I'm gonna take the product, literally, spray it over it, and because it's been coated, everything comes off very quickly and easily. As in a matter of fact, like this right here, now this is a little agitation on it, but what's amazing is this is between, this is a really heavy bird dropping that was on there, and it's just awesome how, look at this, it just comes right off, I mean gone, you know. More importantly, all of this fallout, all you gotta do is spray it, buff it, and look at everything come right off. So, whether it's your grills, your front ends, your paints, your headlights, you know, the other thing that's great with headlights with top coat, you know, uh, granted this was only coated a month ago, but when you coat this brand new, you're not gonna have the oxidation issue like you would. So, because the coating's there, the barrier's there, and it starts protecting that moving forward. So, anyway, I'm gonna move over to the glass here, and we're gonna demo on that. I gotta tell you, one of my favorite things with top coat is glass. It's absolutely amazing on glass, you know, how it bonds, how it performs. To me, it's the best glass cleaner on the market. And we're gonna demo here real quick, uh, on this glass in particular, I'm just gonna split the window, but you know, obviously you can see where the dog nose was all over the glass and, and how many of us have that issue. Uh, but again, the beautiful part is just how easy this is gonna clean up and how well it's gonna be protected and how hydrophobic that is, whether it's inside or out. So all I gotta do is give it a quick spray and I take my microfiber towel and I just literally polish it. Flip to my dry side. Now the, the coating's curing, it's setting up. Do my final buff and look at that. I mean, that's done. Everything's off. So if you want to learn more, you can always go to topcoat.tv. Proper tire pressure, it's not something that you may think about every single day. And especially with a lot of the new vehicles, you know, they have the TPS sensors so you can see right from your dash what your tire pressure is. Older vehicles, nope, you need to be checking them about once a month. And especially when the seasons change, you've got a big temperature swing, it's going to affect your tire pressure. Now, why is it so important? Well, if the tire is underinflated, it's going to really change the way the vehicle drives, the way it handles, the way it responds. And if it's overinflated, well, the tire is not going to wear properly either. It's going to affect your fuel mileage. It's going to affect the way the tire wears and that affects your pocketbook. So there's all kinds of tire pressure gauges. You can get one of these little simple digital ones from any auto parts store. A lot of groceries even have them. So just make sure that you are checking your tire pressure at least once a month. These are down just a hair. I've already checked what the manufacturer recommends on the inside of the door. These are supposed to be set at 35. So we're just gonna bump them up just a little bit, get them to where they need to be. That should be about two pounds. And boom, we're right at 35 pounds, and this vehicle is highway ready. Performance TV, presented by Top Coat, is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Helios, lighting reinvented from the ground up. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Coat. We're visiting our friends at Mobile Environmental Solutions in Texas. We've taken a little field trip to the folks at Metro Dent. We'll tell you about that in a minute. In the meantime, I wanted to show you this. I grabbed this off the cutting room floor. It's a piece of material from one of the beams of the mobile paint unit. I have tried to stretch it, tear it, break it. It won't, it won't budge. And, and Tom, between using materials like this that are so durable and uh, the quality control, how do you, how many, people do you hear back from that have a failure? That's what the, the, the failure rate is very, very minimal. Uh, we use a very high quality vinyl with a stop tear technology in it. And it's a very high quality made product. Cool, and that ensures that you, you hardly hear from anybody. It probably takes a major catastrophe. Absolutely. Yeah. Usually we hear from them when they need more paint filters. And these things are out in the weather all day and people are taking them up and down. So Absolutely. It's a great endorsement for your product. Yes, sir. And now, Mike, you've been doing this for 21 years. Uh, you're in the paintless, paintless dent, dent repair. Dent repair uh, we do minor collision, all sort of things, but working with Tom and these units, uh, it's best served in the paintless dent repair, hail estimation industry. And that's a huge business down here, and you've, you've probably got a bunch of cars coming through these big Texas hail storms. How is this brand new, first time on TV, uh, how is this tunnel gonna help what you do? How's it gonna change your business? This tunnel helps out in so many different ways from a PDR company's perspective, from the beginning process with the estimation, 
Uh, it, it helps with the insurance companies. There's always a subjectiveness, especially if you're trying to view a car outside or without proper conditions. And that's always on every company's mind. What kind of conditions were these you know, estimates done in? This is the ideal situation uh, because this booth is designed exactly like the lights that the PDR technicians are actually using to do the repairs. So if you can't see it in here, they're not there. So basically what the lines do, again, it's very similar to what a PDR technician's using, is you're actually, it's not so much that you're putting light on the panel as you're creating distortion and depth perception. So that's kind of what the black lines or dead space in between does. So when you're doing a hail estimation, whether you're an insurance company, a PDR company, or whatever, uh, there's a matrix that's used. So it's all categorized one to five dense, six to 15, 16 to 30, all the way up. But then also by dime, nickel, quarter, half dollar, and oversize. So by creating these lines and that depth perception, you're actually able to see what size the dents are in, you know, the majority of the dents are in that panel because all too often, uh, it's just natural for the human eye to naturally just see the bigger dents and miss all the smaller stuff. And I think that's what plays such a big role in the estimation process that having all these lines and creating all that depth perception allows whoever's writing that estimate to actually see all the damage. Well, Mike, we can see how this is better for you, better for the insurance companies, makes it easier for you guys to work. So obviously a better job and customers are going to be really happy. With it. Absolutely. It's very versatile. It allows us hey, to, you know, cradle to grave, start the process. Again, no matter what the conditions are, indoor, outdoor. But the nice thing is if, if it's a slower day or I have the ability, uh, because I can set it up and take it down so fast. If I choose to work underneath this thing as a technician, rather than moving my lights around and everything else, I can sit here and do a full repair to this car because it is the perfect setting to do so. Well, I can see a wave of business coming your way once you get one of these things installed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we thank you for having us out. And Tom, thanks for having us to uh, Mobile Environmental thank Solutions. You for coming. We appreciate your having us down here in Texas. Absolutely. If, you, if you want to learn more about Mobile Environmental Solutions, check out their website, mobileenvironmentalsolutions.com. That's going to do it for this episode of Performance TV presented by Top Coat. We're glad you came along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.